This sort of started when uh, throughout uh, the GFC we had some periods of extremely high stress uh, for four or five years actually. And so I, I ended up with some, some depression, I was numb, I couldn't function. So I really wanted to fix that but I didn't want to take drugs. So I started looking at neural reprogramming and cognitive reasoning and those sorts of things. And a friend at work gave me You Are The Placebo and that, just a light bulb moment, here's some science behind everything that, that you know, I'd struggled with uh, meditation before, I didn't, didn't like the concept for some reason. This made it make sense. So I sat down and started doing the work and within a, a relatively short time, um, my depression was gone, I was happy, I was in a good place, uh, family was doing well and, uh, and, and so then me being me, of course, I, I, I sort of stopped being as, as uh, disciplined on the whole meditation thing. And uh, so then, of course, I get my next challenge, which uh, ended up being cancer. So I thought I had a torn tendon in my hip. And the doctor just says, look at the screen. And I know, I know what that is. Turns out I've got can I had cancer in a number of places in my bones, secondary cancers and a primary cancer of lymphoma. So a treatable cancer, but no guarantees. I figured that it was time to ratchet up the meditations and get really serious about it. So I did and really pushed hard, sat down every day, sometimes two or three sessions a day, before I even knew what it was. So it took about three months for them to work out what it was. And that included a horrendously painful bone biopsy on my pelvis. The doctor said, uh, look, I'm sorry to warn you in advance, but I'm probably going to cut some nerves. And I sort of thought, couldn't you just lie to me? <laughs> just, just don't tell me that part. But doctors have to be transparent, don't they? And he was correct. He did cut some nerves. He cut them so badly that I couldn't walk for several weeks. So I kind of cancelled the whole cure for cancer bit and just worked on the pain. And I really wanted that to go. I was on crutches. I was almost passing out from pain. I remember it really, really distinctly. I got up from my meditation. It was eight o'clock. I went to the kitchen bench to get a coffee because you probably need a stimulant when you're in great pain, don't you? <laughs> so it stood there at the bench and at 8.05, my pain turned off, gone. And it's never come back. So then I went back to the cancer and uh, I found out what it was, December 27 I started treatment. On February 15 I got up from my meditation and I knew that I was cured. On the 22nd I think it was, it was a few days later, the scans came back and they confirmed it. I was in hospital on Tuesday uh, so the doctor would release me to come here uh, and he looks at my bloods and he goes, uh, I'd like to say don't go, but these are the bloods of a normal person, not of a person whose you know, immune system is deeply depressed. So get on a plane, Wayne, and go. He was high-fiving when the results came back. He was running around like a kid. He was just going, this is the best possible result. And, and I was crying. I was like, yes, that's so relieving. But you know, the, the receptionist was high-fiving me. It was an amazing experience. And I was greatly relieved. But I'd seen that scan in my head as a visual clear for six weeks over and over and over again. So I wasn't hugely surprised, to be honest. I want to say just a couple more things about the work that, that this is, is, has done. I was meditating before I found out I had cancer. I've had about four days anxiety since I found out. That's only the meditation, it's guaranteed. Because I was in a sweet spot already. I was happy and I, and I just stayed there by, by meditating. So even if the result had come back, that I wasn't gonna get cured. I haven't wasted a day. I felt good every day, pretty much, since I found out. So I think this, is, this work is worth doing no matter what the result. And I was comfortable with whatever that result was, to be honest. I'd got to that spot where I wasn't fatalistic. I'm not going to sit down and meditate for three hours a day because I don't care if I die or live. I was just very happy with whatever came my way. So do the work. <laughs> just 
do the work. Even if you're not sure you're doing it right, it's so valuable to see that, that uh, sweet spot come into your life, that present moment where right now I'm happy, I'm looking at the flower garden or I'm driving my car or I'm doing whatever. Be in the moment because then you can be happy.